Alright, so let's step into Photoshop. Let me show you how to do it. Um, let's go into Photoshop and then um, let's go to here. Let's go to new and then let's type in that this dimension. We're going to go to this place and then we are going to set here to pixels and then let's come over here. Let's set here to 2000 and then the height. Let's set it to 2000. The resolution, let's set it to 72. Minimum resolution uh, it's just for social media handles, we don't need to boost it up too much. RGB color here, 8 bit here, set here to color. Um, let's click here, let's set to color black. Okay. And then let's click on OK. And then let's call it birthday flyer. And then click on create. Now, also, I want you to go to view and then I want you to go to new guard layout click over there and then um let's set here to eight let's set here also to eight and then click on okay now let's start with the background okay i was with the background i first want to bring in an image and this is the image it's a very beautiful or nice image drag it into photoshop and release it now hold control shift or alt depending on the version of photoshop you are using so that you can stretch it simultaneously on all sides and then drag it like that okay and then um, you can leave it and press enter now we want to put stuff on this particular um image and we want it the Im the things you're going to put on it to stand out and so what we got to do is we got to blur this image so that you will not actually see what this uh, detail is but only the details that is on it okay so that is one of the things that we are going to do um, you go to filter and you go to blur and then you go to Gaussian blur and you go to yeah blur Gaussian blur and then this is going to pop up so as you can see we want it to blur such a way that you will not see the entire details sort of whatever we put on it will stand out rather rather than the background okay so I'm going to set it to let's say 48 uh 48 is good and then click on ok now uh, i'm loading ok now i'm going to duplicate it ok and this time the one underneath here you can see here you can close it and then you can open it again let me close this one now this one the one on top rather the one on top click on gaussian blur double click it it's going to pop up for you i want us to set here to 14 ok nice now i want us to give it a mask in this mask i want you to go and pick your brush brush set here to color black set here to normal come here and pick soft round brush and then opacity and flow 100 make sure you click here on the white mask over here now once you drag your brush in there you should see the tip of the brush if you can't see it click on caps lock it's going to take the tip over there and then let's reduce the size of the brush okay all right so you want to double click here and let's see something okay so that is it so what we're going to do is we're going to click here okay this side click it nice also um this side um let's see uh this side as well and then this side okay and uh, this side and maybe this side okay so uh, once you are done with that let's bring in some exposure let's control H to hide the line okay let's bring in um, some exposure as well so let's go here to the adjustments and let's go and look for exposure exposure helps us to control the sun or the darkness we want it to look like it's a little bit in the night scene okay so what we are going to do is we are going to um set here all the way to minus three enter so you can see it's already there at the here is zero here's one let's give everything the same way and then let's go and pick a solid color i want us to give it a uh, what do we call it uh, a black or a blue theme okay so i'm going to pick in this particular color 08089B. All right, uh, this particular blue color, and then um, let's see what we can come up with. 
Okay. Alright, so let's set it to soft light and then let's leave it like that. Now it's time for us to bring in um a let's, let's put everything in a group okay first let's put everything in a group and then let's call it pg now i want to start bringing in some of our text so i'm going to click on my text to remember we use the text to to type our text click over there and then type um h b d great now the font we are going to be using is called uh morganite okay so let's see morganite all right i don't know what that is <laughs> morganite okay and then please remember here is going to be morganite bold set here to bold and then the font size let's increase to 1174 want it to be very big okay let's watch it nice click on your move to and then move it so that we can see it great now um the tracking over here let's set it to zero let's make sure everything is caps over here and then the horizontal scale i want us to increase to one one zero okay so that it becomes a little bit exactly it moves like that now the color is also not blended well so click over here and set the color to color white and okay so just like that we are done with it but we also want to make sure it is really centered nicely so control h control t now you can see this is the middle of everything you want it to be in the middle of it great that is awesome now we are done with control h to hide the line now we are done with it let's duplicate it we want to add some glow to the hbd or happy birthday and with that let's double click over here and then let's go to the layer styles and then let's pick one particular item over there we want to take it and work with it it is called outer glow we want to click on outer glow and then let's drag it over here to this side so that we can see it now we are going to set here to screen all right and then we're also going to set the opacity over here to 46 or oh, some the noise let's leave the noise the same way but then the color over here click over here set the color to color white nice and then over here softer and then over here are the spray let's use one and then the scale that's where the magic is let's use one seven two great so it spreads the size nicely around the whole thing i think that is great the contour leave it like this if it's not like this click here and then go and pick this for the contour the range let's set it to 50 the jitter let's set it to zero and that is it click on okay all right so just like that we've added some glue to the hpd now let's put it in a group uh let's put it in a group okay only the hbds don't select any other thing else okay only these two things hpd put it in a group and then let's call it hpd because that is what it is now i also want to bring in some few um, adjustments i want us to correct the color a little bit more now this is a little element in photo manipulation that we are using it's nothing um serious but once you understand a little bit of photo manipulation you'll be able to understand some concepts like these okay so let's bring in some levels uh and um we want we want we, want, we are trying to create a dark mood okay we want the, the 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 light to shine the glow to shine and so the darker the whole thing the more brighter is going to be that is basically the principle okay so now this level we are going to set here to 15 nicely so now i can see that it's brighten more and we are going to set here to 1.2 and then we are going to leave here the same great put it in a group let's call it adjustment okay and then let's type in here and then i'll paste bound it over there great now it's obvious you can see it 
go to character okay go to character and then make sure caps log is off that way we can see it in small letters as well okay now we are setting the font size to 1141 guys please remember that and they want it very close together so minus 90 is it working okay <laughs> it's working and then um we also want here to be one one zero let's set here to C E B. sorry C E B. okay let's set here to C E B and then 906 for the color code yes and then let's set here the blending mode to um, divide exactly divide and then let's reduce it over here to nine percent now i want us to click on the move tool and then let's move it move it somewhere here now you can see the background is becoming more richer i think that's great so far the background is becoming more richer what is this one let's delete one of them okay so this is it let's put it in a group let's call it birthday one now we want to bring in our image and with that i'm going to first bring this one and drag it into photoshop then i'm going to release it and then we are going to resize it try and keep it in the middle Let's click on the HBD folder and then let's try moving it up a little bit more. Okay. Also, let's go for image 2. Drag it into Photoshop and then release it. I want you to right click it and flip horizontal. Now, hold here and just drag it up nicely like that and then move it this way all right this is great i think this is great let's drag it underneath here put both of them in a group call them and then now let's clip some adjustments to it the first adjustment we are going to click to it is the exposure just to control the lightning over there okay make sure you clip it to it guys now once you clip it to it set here to minus 1.56 uh, enter this way the image becomes darker a little bit and then the glue over here can spill over let's clip one more adjustment to it as well maybe maybe a couple of adjustments more to it um, first we want to um, also add some hue and saturation and then with the hue and saturation let's set here to minus six okay and then the saturation here you want to drag the saturation a little bit down minus 43 uh, the reason why we are doing that is because we want the colors to be a little bit saturated guys remember clip it to where that we affects only the image that's what we want and then let's also add some color balance to it color balance to it guys also remember as well clip that one to it as well let's set here to minus two nine so you can see it's it brought some bluish greenish color to it over here as well let's set it to minus 
spot it you know you can fill in some different colors coming up that is it and then over here let's set it to minus 100 let's see the final color okay so now this is what it brings out i think this is great now let's put it all in a group everything in a group including the photo and then let's call it image and then um let's create some shadows around the side i feel like the birthday should go up a little bit more okay now click over here and then create a new layer once you create a new layer we can click on our brush over here select this brush click this brush right click it select brush pick a uh, soft brown brush okay come here pick color black over here make sure your caps lock is off increase the size of the brush and then hit here like that exactly and then maybe a little bit here and then let's reduce the opacity of it to 5 4 great let's put it in a group and then let's call it overlay now in the overlays let's add in more elements and uh, the first one we want to add is this image drag it into photoshop and then leave it inside there like that then let's scale it up all right enter let's give it a mask Take your brush over here set here to color black come here set it to soft brown brush normal and represent and represent and also make sure you click over here very important now bring your brush into the whole canvas and make sure caps log is off great now you can mask here you can mask it it acts as an eraser with the exception of the fact that uh, you know you can always come back and undo whatever you did all right so guys bear with me my photoshop is lagging but uh we will be able to work today <laughs> all right okay so um let's clean here as well awesome so i think this is great so far let's also add in another element and this is it you want to drag it into photoshop and then you want to release it Great. and then let's resize it all right let's resize it fill the entire screen enter now i want us to go here and then i want us to click on color dodge place it in there nicely give it a mask and then make sure you pick your brush as usual color black here normal soft brown brush over here 100 100 click over here on the mask over here and then let's mask this person okay let's mask him out mm -hmm. let's mask him out okay this two now this act as a ribbon or a falling ribbon or a flying ribbon something like that bring it in there and make sure you resize the touch topmost and then the lowest as well and then let's bring it here enter click here and then let's go and then look um, for let's see lighting i think lighting works duplicate it click on your move to and then push shift and then drag it to the 
right side now put these two in the group ctrl g and then click on mask that way we can mask everything make sure you click on your brush too and then here's color black is selected we want to mask it again guys you already know how we mask because we already talked about it okay let's reduce the size drastically and then let's mask this side mask this side so basically you're going to mask a lot of stuff a lot of stuff okay let's mask all this and then let's set here to color white reduce the size of the brush and then let's bring this one in here let's bring this one also in here let's bring a couple of ones in here uh, let's see whether we can find something like this mm -hmm. you can click on x to toggle between the cleaning or the masking and then the unmasking X again clean. All right, so guys, I think this is great so far. Um, you can put it in a group, and then if I let's <laughs> let's add one more thing. Let's add a curve. Okay, a curve. Click here. Good curve. And then don't clip it. Okay, just drag this here like that. And then that is it. And then let's drag it up a little bit more. And then that is it okay now um what i want us to do is let's um uh, over here okay i want us to increase the size of the brush make sure this is click also make sure here's the soft brown brush here's color black 100 100 percent okay now this side of the i want you to mask it okay, so you can see see it it is working okay because that is where the glow is going to come from so we want to start creating that perception now because that's what photoshop is all about now let's type happy birthday but this particular birthday we can duplicate it and bring it to the front forefront let's double click it let's call here two and then click on the move to and move it down Now open it and then click on birthday and then let's go here let's go here let's set to color dodge great and then over here let's set it to 100 percent now it seems to be coming off nicely let's close the birthday too and then let's start bringing in our glue as well so let's close it create a new um layer go and pick your brush brush go here go and pick soft brown brush come back here select color white okay because we want to use white to do the effect now make sure you increase the size a little bit more not too much to something like this click over here awesome and then increase the size or scale it up and then let's reduce the opacity here to 30 enter now duplicate it click on your move to and then move it here as well okay now so you, now you can see the spill on the face and that is what we wanted Spill on the face, that is what we want. Uh, Alright. Let's add some G map to it as well. Oh, that's gradient map. 
and then over here um let's make here white as usual over here let's double click it and then let's choose so 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 five one three and then enter enter okay click on weaver click over here click on soft light let's see click on soft light let's, let's reduce it to 50 percent or 80 percent all right so i think 80 percent is better remember we can always come back there and work on it let's put it in a group and then let's call it glow now i want us to start typing start typing and see. what we are going to do is let's go for our text I'm sure by now you have covered some with the text. Type. Alex Hansen. Okay. Now let's open our character. We are also going to use another um font it's been a while i use this font that is varia bold varia okay extra content black okay let's click on it and then let's open our character panel okay so variable argument variable concept we are using um extra condensed black and then the font size we are going to use 392 enter the opacity here let's set it to 100 we need to make sure the opacity is 100 all right so let's drag it in there so we can see it well now over here at the leading we have to set the leading to 295 let's go to properties then we can do that correction over there it seems not to be working in the uh um, in the let's go over here in the character panel it's 295 all right now we also want to make sure good character um the paragraph also to make sure it is right aligned awesome let's move it here like that okay so now we need to make sure the tracking is also well because it seems to be very um uh, you know fucked up together we want to check the tracking as well the tracking we are going to use zero you know minus 90 zero for an even spacing and then we are going to set here to 100 we are going to set here to 100 as it the scale of the character 100 100 across all right 100 nice and um, um lastly we also want to make sure here all these caps and then scala white and i think that is all okay so with that out of the way you also want to duplicate it and then drag it up let's go to um let's go to 10 match 20, 23 and then double click it and paste it yeah it's still using variable acumen all right uh, however we also going to make sure it's extra condensed black the size is one two nine awesome now let's go to the leading the leading is going to be one one zero 
and then the Kraken is going to be zero. Uh, all caps and then all white as well. Now you want to touch the edge of it. Okay. And one more thing. We also want to pick this one. And then we want to draw it over there. Make sure the screw is off. The fill less and the fill to color white. Then the fill less to push the fill in the other less to them match. Okay, let's pull both of them down. So we are done with the name. Um, I think we should put some happy birthday as as well over there. Uh, let's click on your text too, and then horizontal type and then type somewhere here come and pick happy birthday and go and paste it there open your character we are going to use barnet barnet make sure the caps here is off and then here is 116 and also here is going to be medium uh, okay let's leave it that regular um, over here let's set to 1162 let's see and then tracking zero over here let's set to color yellow but let's pick this particular yellow color um let's see ffc 20b okay and then let's put it um uh, click on your move to then let's put it here I select all of them that are not in group Let's name it name date. And then the next one is a list. A list we are going to paste somewhere here. Okay, so let's type all one. And then Okay, so let's type over here. Choose the type two. And then let's pick a place around here. Drag it like that. And then let's paste the text over there. Okay. Now let's drag text on top of it. Great. And then let's go over here. We are going to use Montserrat and this font. Okay, so let's click on it. Montserrat font. And then we are going to set here to 40. Because we don't want to be it to be too big so 40 also now it's showing here you can see it over here right okay now we also want to set here to 5 4 let's let it show in over here as well you can see it um, let's click on the move to and then let's move it so that we can see it well all right so um as we said 54 for the legend now let's set here to zero or to spread out nicely let's make sure everything is caps over here and guys remember here is going to be color white now let's zoom in you want to really see this because the smaller it is the more you can need to pay attention to it else you might not really design it well 
think I should increase the learning a little bit. Maybe um, 66 will do. Alright, so the next thing is let's pick our rectangular tool and draw a very small rectangle. Now, make sure you go here, the stroke. Set the stroke to no stroke. Um, sorry, no stroke over here. And then go over here to the floor. Set the floor to color white. Awesome. Uh, it's gonna show here. Let's increase it up there. Where are you? Okay. So this is it. Now click on your move to and then let's move it here excellent duplicate it one two three two three three times okay now this last one i want you to drag it hold shift and drag it down all right that's it and then select them now remember we, we we drag it to erase the trailblazer now select all of them make sure your move tool is selected and then click only on this one it is going to make it look nicer uh, see it arranged it nice over here that is how we want it to look like we also want to click over here again you want to create a new layer for it and then you want to draw a very thin one okay and you want to make sure the stroke is off no stroke and then the fill is color white great and then drag it up or move it up by clicking on your move tool and then moving it up Let's see. Let's put everything in a folder and then control C. Let's name it list and then control H. Let's see. Okay. okay. So, I think everything is in the right place. Uh, however, I don't like the way it is. I feel like the whole weight is over here. We need to make sure the text is really aligned and also balanced as well. So let's select the list and then the name and date. Control T, Control H, so that our lines will be showing. And you want this middle here to fall in the middle line over here. To hold shift and drag it that way great now i feel like it's quite balanced and if possible let's drag it down a little bit more click on your move to do and drag it down a little bit Now click on Control Shift Alt and E at the same time. Control Shift Alt and E at the same time. Um, it is going to give us a merged version of every single thing on the layer. Uh, this is what we are going to have. Now I want you to click here and convert it to or select Soft Light. Okay, guys, Soft Light, and then let's. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. Great. Now, I want you to give it a mask. And then I want you to go and pick your brush. Brush. And then I want you to set here to 100. Uh, set the flow, uh, the opacity here to 50. 100 
make sure your caps lock is off so you can see the tip of the brush make sure here scala black and click over here you want to first hit here like that but let's set here 200 clean here clean here clean here oh maybe here as well so let's see where it affects we can see only affect the size and that is it all right guys so guys if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well remember i love you all see you in the next tutorial there are more videos coming up i don't want you to miss any of them so please subscribe to the channel also i have some um a few things that um i think you might be interested in if, if you're interested in this psd you can check the description you find a link over there that will lead you to seller i also have a couple of psds going out as well if you need a graphic design course to really teach you everything that you need to do, check this description you will find it there as well see you in the next video peace